What's going on everybody? This is Daxon here. Here is a game that I I bought for about ten dollars through Steam. Um, if you're not familiar with Steam, it's a piece of software you download, freeware, whatever you want to call it, and you can buy games and download games from it. And it, you kind of have all your things that you've ever purchased saved in it. So if you ever get a new computer, you just get Steam, and you can see all your purchases and download whatever you want uh, from what you purchased. This game, I just want to make a short video on. Um, I kind of like to record some of my favorite games sometimes. Um, I'm not really big into gaming, but every now and then I do. And there's uh, some games that I have, you know, that are considered my favorites. So um, I like to have it recorded that way. If I ever, you know, say in years to come and I forget about this game, I can go back here on my YouTube channel and I can see some of the best games that uh, I've always liked. <laughs> And sorry about my sniffs. I've been sniffing for months, and it's getting worse. I'm going to have to go back to the doctor. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. It happens really bad when I'm eating, so um, it annoys me, and I'm sure it annoys everybody else. I know it annoys my wife really bad, but so excuse me for that. But anyway, let's go ahead and start the game. Basically what it is is you're running a... Um, I want to call it a mall. A shopping center, basically. Up here is all your controls. You can do different speeds. Pause it. I'll go ahead and pause it so there's no sound uh, as well. Basically, you have your select. This is when you're selecting stuff. You can right click on things. Um, like here, this is how you would you'd right click on this. This is the maintenance center. This is where your workers go. And you have to have this. Don't ever delete this or make sure you have a new one before you destroy this. Your build. This is how you build your roads. Remove your roads build foundations remove foundations build walls remove walls here's your objects and then here's your floor tiles I don't ever mess with floor tiles um, so let's say if we're going to build uh, let's build just a little store here let's go like this build your foundation um, and we have a worker there I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward and they start building we can go over here to objects and we can find our door at the door Lady's building it. And once you're doing that, you also have your assign, which you're going to have to sign your buildings. Like this one by default already is a maintenance. This we're going to assign as a store. This will be our first thing we're going to build next to And also, you see up here, of course, you have your cash flow, your objectives. Um, this is your daily profit or loss. This is your sales for the day your parking usage and how many mad or happy is kind of the average of how your, your customers are. Well, now I have the store click anyway. I'm going to go ahead and select this. This is our store. Now we want to go to um, select, I believe. Yep. And right click, manage store to get us started. This is kind of how you're going to manage all your buildings separately. You can set what time you want it to open, and you'll kind of be able to mess with that because um, once you get it going, you'll be able to see if your peak times of your your customers come, and your uh, how, wh what times you want your staff to come in. You can control how much you pay them, how long. So let's say we'll have the store open at eight in the morning, and we want it to close at ten at night. Hire. We're gonna have a cashier to start. You can pick anyone you want, and we want a um, stock clerk they will stock our store here you can set you see the satisfaction so we're gonna milk them for all they're worth which is kind of the point oops so we'll go to manual salary and watch this green bar as you lower the salary that's as low as it'll let me go is 10 um, you want it to go all the way towards yellow and you're in red they're gonna uh, not be as effective for you we haven't had any customers yet so we're not gonna see but this is how you're gonna set like your uh, time and then how many hours you want them to work same with the cashier. We're going to try to milk them for as much as they're worth. We're going to set their salary all the way down low first. Um, we start at 8 and we close at 10, so I'm going to need them to work a uh, 12 hour shift. And you can hire multiples. And then we're going to want our person stocking. Um, we can have them start working, say, at the morning. And so they'll work 8 hours. And they'll be done stocking by the time we touch it. 
and we can select our product and go over that and go over that kind of way to figure that out. So so far as we can go back to build and objects. So we're gonna start with some food. We can just go through and add some food shelves just like this. You can add more, expand your store, do all that. I'm just doing the basics here, fridge, um, so on and so forth. Um, and then we'll need a checkout counter. And you'll use the Q button on your keyboard to select where you want people to stand in line. So you want it right about there. As soon as uh, 8 o'clock in the morning rolls around, you'll see uh, the worker come in and they'll stand at the cash register. The last thing we need to do, we can go to select and we'll go through in each one of these. I wish there was a faster way to do it, but there isn't. We'll sell some soda on that shelf, some water there, um, some juice there. Do some candy, do some snacks, and some canned food. Here in our refrigerators, let's pick some. I guess you can only do beverages. I need to unlock more. We'll do some cold soda, and we'll do some cold juice. Last thing we need to do before time here, let's build. We need to build a little bit more roads before it gets eight o'clock here. Now the last thing we need is storage, so we need to build one more building somewhere, and they'll come and build it. We should be about ready to go by the time day comes this time, hopefully. Objects, let's add us a staff door here, and we're going to assign this as our storage. You have to have storage for the truck drivers to um, put the food in, the products, and you're going to have multiple storages and bigger as you build more stores, bigger stores, so on like that. As you can see when I hover over this, it shows down in the right corner of my screen requires storage, so that's what we're working on. It's ready to go now, and then we just need to go select, right click, manage store, and we need to, let's see where's it at, assign storage, we'll click on it. And there we go. Now we're going to have start having Here's our trucks. They came in, deliver our products. Now our workers are going to start working. And hopefully they'll start stocking our shelves if I have everything right here, hopefully. Something messed up. Um, stop play. Why is she not coming? We're coming to work in 14 now. I already have it set so I can't change it. So we need to wait 11 hours. Um, I guess we've got time to go on. Sorry, I have to say, wait a minute. 10 hours. 9 hours. Anyway, she'll come in here in just a few minutes, even though it says hours, so we'll be nice because I have the time sped up so much. They'll come in, they'll grab the stuff out of here, and they'll start stocking the shelves. Obviously, you want to have as much stuff as you can. You want it to be more organized than I have. Um, you eventually get to where you have fast food restaurants. You can do movie theaters, restrooms, definitely you want to have that to keep your customers around longer. You want to build more cash registers, security centers, bar, coffee shop, um, office. That's how you all be able to unlock more. You can hire workers to work in an office and 
you know, discover your, your new products and, and things you can unlock. You should be able to go up here. See, there's a lot of things. See, a lot of things right here are locked, 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 locked. We'll have to unlock them through Oxford. All right, our stalker is here. And if you can see her face is red, she is not very happy because we're paying her low. Let's, let's increase her wages just a little bit so she'll work a little bit better. Stock clerk, yeah, see it's in the red. So let's increase that till we get it to yellow before it's, she's happy enough to where she'll do her job right. Let's see with the cashier, she's not very happy, so let's increase hers just a little bit. And speed up time again. Soon be getting eight o'clock and you'll see customers are gonna start coming in to our parking lot.